as you may have seen with my previous video today, Anthropic has been quite busy as they released a new Cloud 3.5 Haiku model, plus a new upgrade to the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model, and on top of these new updates, they introduced the biggest update in my opinion, which is the new Computer Use API, which simply allows Cloud to control your computer screen based on the prompts that you give it and take actions for you on your behalf. Essentially, what they did was that they upgraded the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model so that it's capable of interacting with tools and it can manipulate a computer desktop environment with the new API, which is just truly insane. To give you a good idea of what it's capable of doing, take a look at this video by Eric, who is a developer on Twitter who used the new computer use API to fill out a job application within a few seconds. He simply used fire, fire crawl to quickly gather information and then use the API to take action by filling out parts of a real job application. Now imagine this, what if you were to use this in an agentic coding environment with automated debugging or within customer service as well as education? Well, this is simply going to be a game changer and this is something that will can basically change how we utilize computers. This is simply the best computer controlling AI agent ever and this is something that I'll showcase throughout today's video as I showcase how you can get started with it and showcase a couple of demos. With this new computer use API, you can direct Claude to use computers the way people do by looking at a screen, moving a cursor, clicking a couple of buttons and typing text. It's still currently in experimental mode so it's gonna be prone to a couple of errors but sooner or later they'll resolve it and essentially you're going to be capable of automating a lot of web-based tasks with this. Now you can already access the computer use feature through Asana, Canva, Cognition, DoorDash, Replit, and the browser company. So if you're interested, definitely try it out over there. But now what we're going to be doing is showcasing how you can easily get started with this API and showcasing a couple of tests. So essentially what they've done to utilize and implement the Claude's computer use API is with Docker and Anthropic basically provided this reference implementation that allows developers to get started quickly by running a constraint environment for it. And essentially what you want to do is go over to this API docs, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Once you are here, simply scroll down to how to implement computer use and click on the reference implementation. This will take you to a GitHub repository. Before we even install this computer use API locally, you need to make sure that you have the prerequisites installed. You need to make sure that you have Docker installed onto your computer, whether that's for Mac, Linux, or Windows. So simply install it for whatever operating system you have, and you need to make sure that you also have an API key ready from Anthropic. What you wanna do first is open up your command prompt. In this case, I'm on Windows, but I'm using YSL. And once I have opened this up, you want to simply run the export anthropic underscore API underscore key command. So simply copy this, go back into your uh, command prompt and paste this in. And then following the equal sign, paste in your API key and click enter. Next, you want to copy this command and go back into your command prompt and paste it in. This will start up. The docker container i should have said this before but you need to also make sure that you have docker opened up before you even paste in this command to do so just simply open up the docker desktop and you should see it opened up in your hot tab where it says that docker is running and this will basically take a couple of seconds to start up this container now once it has finished installing the container you can then open this up on your local host so simply copy this and you can start utilizing the computer use api so Looks like I have started this up and you can see that this is the main dashboard of the cloud computer use. On the left hand side, you have the chat tab and then on the right hand side, you have the Linux desktop that is going to be executing all your web based tasks. So now you're basically able to do anything with this computer use API. So in this case, I can ask it, can you please go over to the world of AI YouTube channel and click on the latest video. So let's send this in. It's gonna then request the agents to execute this task. You can see that it's gonna first start off by taking a screenshot of the desktop, and you can see that it's gonna then execute 
the task by finding the Firefox icon. So you can see that it opened the Firefox icon. It's going to then execute the command to search up the world of AI YouTube channel by navigating to YouTube. So you can see that it's now on YouTube. It's going to then search for the world of AI YouTube channel. So you can see that it's utilizing various tools such as the tool used to utilize a computer, the use case to take the action of a text. So in this case, it's now searching the world of AI YouTube channel. And looks like it has now searched up the world of AI YouTube channel. And you can see that the second option is the channel. Let's see if it's capable of click on it. And there you go. It clicked on the channel and basically it was capable of successfully finding and opening up the latest video, which was Fabric Open Source AI, which is the main video on the channel. And in this case it was capable of doing this within a couple of steps which is just insane what you can also do is you can change the api provider to bedrock or even vertex so this gives you more flexibility and you can also even have it so that you can hide the screenshots within the chat tab let's now give it a bit more of an advanced uh, let's say task this is where i'm asking it to please find the cheapest flights going to japan from new york so within a couple of seconds we're going to see if it's capable of doing this on google it was first searching on YouTube. It does look like it's a small little error, but it's fine. It was capable of finding the right path, which was going to Google Flights. And we can see that it's now searching the cheapest flight from New York to Japan. And it looks like it found the cheapest option within the months of October and November. So it was capable of finding the cheapest flights to Japan from New York within a couple of seconds. Now say if you want to stop this container, you can go back into Docker and you can press the stop command and you can easily start it back up with the same following command. And that's how you can practically utilize this new computer use API locally. Now what we're going to be doing next is taking a look at certain developer videos that have been created by Anthropic by themselves. And this is, this is going to basically give you a better insight as to what you can do with this amazing new API. So I'm Sam and I'm one of the researchers here at Anthropic. Compute use is something that we felt was going to be important for a while now. And so today we're going to be talking about a very early version we have of compute use and walking through a representative example of the things we think it's going to be useful for. We're going to be going through a quick demo today. In this fictional demo, a customer in this case, the Ant Equipment Company has come to us and asked us to fill out a vendor request form. The data I need to fill out this form is scattered in various places on my computer. What we're going to do is ask Claude to look at the spreadsheet, check if Ant Equipment is in there, and if not, move over to the CRM and try and find some more information there. Once it has this data, Claude's going to then fill out the form for us and hopefully transfer the information across to the, the vendor form. The first thing that's going to happen is Claude's going to start taking screenshots of my screen and quickly realizes that the Ant Equipment Company isn't actually in the spreadsheet. So the first thing it does is it swaps over to a CRM and searches for the company we're interested in. Luckily, we get a search match and Claude then starts scrolling through the page looking for all the information it needs to fill out this form. Claude then autonomously starts transferring the information across without me having to do anything. And goes through the, the steps and fills out all the information needed. And then submits the form. This example is representative of a lot of drudge work that people have to do. This is available in the API. We're excited for people to try it. And we should expect things to get a lot better over the coming months. Now, wasn't that crazy? This is something that has a lot of potential. And like I said in my previous video, huge props to Anthropic for keeping up the pace with these new developments. I'm going to leave a lot of these links that I use in today's video in the description below, as well as making a few more videos as to what this new update is about. So stay tuned on those uploads today. I have already uploaded the Haiku model update video, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. So definitely take a look at that. I'll leave all these links that I use in the description there as well 
So make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can access different AI subscriptions to tools for free, as well as joining our private Discord. Follow me on Twitter to get the latest AI news to you for free. And lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of AI. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.